Then came Apollo 13. Intended to be the third trip to the moon, the mission had to be aborted just two days in, on April 13, 1970, when an explosion ripped through one of the oxygen tanks, crippling the spacecraft. Okay, uh, we've had a problem here. The command module's normal supply of electricity, light, and water was lost about 200,000 miles from Earth. For four days, the nation was on edge, and NASA engineers, scientists, and technicians were challenged to the limits of their knowledge. Could we get the astronauts home safe? Katherine Johnson really made a name for herself within NASA as a go-to person for orbital mechanics. And one of the things that happened with the Apollo 13 mission when they needed to reroute that craft and bring those gentlemen safely back to Earth is that they were doing a lot of unexpected math very quickly in the moment that needed to be right. That's not how NASA usually worked. NASA had made their reputation and still works very much on anticipating problems, planning for them, testing them, and knowing before a problem happens what the answer will be so that they can do that in the moment. Apollo 13 really threw people back on having to do new solutions in the moment that they knew had to work and on which lives relied. And Katherine Johnson then was seen as somebody who could reliably do that, who could think on her feet, who knew the material well enough, who knew the math well enough, that if she said that this orbital trajectory would work and in fact would help bring those gentlemen back to Earth on a free return around the moon, that it would work. With the onboard mechanical computers out, NASA fell back to a series of reports that Catherine had co-authored three years earlier with her colleague, Al Hamer. She developed a method for, um, you know, using, you know, quick calculations with, you know, looking at stars with, you know, a sextant or, you know, sighting the stars to determine where your position was in space and what your attitude was, you know, critical things for how to navigate in space if, you, if your um, um, guidance computer is, is inoperative for some reason. And in fact, there was a case where the guidance computer was inoperative on Apollo 13. They had to turn off the electricity, which they turned off the, the computers. Her technique would have been very useful except for one thing. Um, when the service module exploded, um, it set a whole bunch of debris around, and so the Apollo 13 uh, craft was flying around the moon with a cloud of bits and pieces around it that you really made it difficult to distinguish what those were and what the stars were.